Chapter 39. Connor's eye on an eye walked down the crowded sidewalk at school. It was lunchtime and everyone milled about carrying lunch bags. They congregated in the grass, eating their sandwiches. We discussed our plans for the weekend. The guys were going to help me come up with a memorial for Avon to put at top to put at the top of the hill. I thought it would be a nice surprise for Josephine. I was also going to start teaching them how to play the guitar. Connor hoped it would help his ticks, and Zion hoped it would help him with the ladies. We already have five shops rented out from the festival, I told them. Really great artists, too. That's awesome, Zion said. And I've been thinking about how dead Stagecoach Pass is over the summer, I said. It's just too hot for people to come and walk around. So I've been at the outdoor malls taking notes about what they have to offer that still draws people in during the summer. And get this. I jumped in front of them, and they both stopped and gave me their full attention. I waited a moment for tension. Finally, I said, splash pad with serious dramatic flair. You want to put a splash pad? In at Stagecoach Pass, Connor said. Not a regular splash pad, I explained. Like an old-fashioned splash pad. Oh, yeah, Zion said. Like the splash pads they used to have that Billy the Kid brought his kids to. Ha ha, I said. I mean, instead of a regular splash pad, it would have like a water-pumping windmill and a little creek that runs around it and maybe a fort with a water slide or something like that. It would, of course, have to stick with the Stagecoach Pass theme. That's a great idea, Connor said. Yeah, and we can plant some big trees around it with picnic benches underneath for parents to sit. And then if we get our sandwich shop and our smoothie place, they'll have something to pick up for lunch. I also thought we need a store that sells old-fashioned toys, like really cool ones. It would be quite the summer outing for families. You know, Avon, said Zion, I think one day you might be running that place. Are you kidding me, said Connor? She already is. Oh, and another thing I said. I'm going to learn how to ride a horse. Cool, said Connor. Awesome, said Zion. And you know what? They didn't look surprised at all. Jessica walked by us. Hey, Avon, she called, and a couple of girls walking with her waved at me. Hey, I said, see you guys at practice later. I saw that we were walking by the cafeteria. I stopped. The guys stopped and both gave me questioning looks. I looked at Connor, I looked at Zion, and I walked to the doors. You guys want to eat lunch together, I said. The corner of Connor's mouth tipped up a little and he barked. He walked to the doors and opened one for me. Ladies first, he said, almost as if he were asking me if I had thought this through, if I was certain. I smiled at Connor, stepped forward into the doorway, and entered the cafeteria I had never seen before. After all, there was a lot I needed to do with my life. I had places to see, things to try, new friends to meet, and light to shine.